Hey, my name's Scott. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the SEC's broadband map to find out what internet provider is available in your state, in your city, and even at your address, find out what providers they have and what speeds are available. This grew out of a, a blog of mine, um, wfhlasvegas.com, where um, I wrote a popular blog post describing what internet providers are available. And uh, I just recently updated this with maps um, use it, you know, from, the, from the FCC website. So let's take a closer look. Let's start by uh, going to the area. And I'm gonna use my county where I live um, as an example here. I'm in Clark County, Nevada. So let's go to the county level and let's zoom in. And you'll see that when um, you hover over the map, it shows you these hexagons that divides the, the, the area into these hexagons, which get progressively smaller. And when you hover over, it tells you what percentage of, that, uh, of the homes in that area are covered. Um, and you can see some areas are, are much less and some are, some are closer at 100%. So as well as filtering by speed, you can also filter um, by the type of technology. So let's say what I really want is fiber. So let's see where that's available. And suddenly the map changes quite significantly. Uh, and you see that, you know, some areas um, have reasonable coverage, 70%, 99%, that's amazing. Um, but many of these hexagons have, have uh, none or, or close to, close to no, none. And when we zoom in, it gets more detailed. The hexagons get smaller. And you see here in this random one, it's only 0.38% coverage. So really hardly anybody's getting uh, fiber, fiber there. So this is much closer to reality Let's now take a look at a specific uh, address because it might make a little bit more sense. So let's type in the uh, address of uh, Wayne Newton's famous uh, property here in Vegas. And you see all the, the, the maps, uh, the dots on the map indicate what uh, technology is available and what speeds are available. So let's uh, filter that again for cable. And uh, let's do 250 up, down and 25 up. And you see that, uh, yep, sorry, Wayne Newton, you cannot get uh, fiber internet at your your house unfortunately but it tells you here on the right hand side who is servicing the address the first provider listed apparently is a symmetrical one gigabit wireless service called geolinks well i took a look at their website and unfortunately uh this area here that's clark county um this is marked as coverage coming soon so this should not be on the map it should not be in the map because this is not available and if you find that you know, once you put in your address that it's not a, that a service isn't available, you can challenge that by clicking here and let's select the, the provider uh, and let's send it. Oh, you have to fill out your details. So I'm not gonna do that, but uh, you can definitely uh, do that here uh, on the map. So we've explained the mystery of why apparently all of Vegas uh, has, uh, you know, super fast wireless internet. Um, we don't, uh, and it's because of this provider and they've submitted wrong information. But the rest of the information to me looks correct. So Cox is a local cable company. These are their typical speeds, um, one gig down, 35 up. Um, we've got Lumen, um, also known as CenturyLink. They are the local uh, phone uh, player here. So that's DSL service, 40 down and three up. That's, that's fairly sort of typical speeds. In terms of the other providers, LV.net is a wireless player who've been established for quite some time locally. Um, they cover most of the city actually, um, and, and their speeds are okay. They're not, they're not great. Um, they're more of an option if you don't have any other options. If you're living in the edge of town, maybe in a custom home, um, you tend to see uh, LV.net uh, dishes on top of, their, top of those roofs. One other provider worth mentioning here is T-Mobile. Um, they're offering a 5G fixed uh, internet service. Um, with you know reasonable speeds, reasonable pricing, um, and Verizon also offers that too at a bunch of um, addresses as well. Both of their coverage areas are growing rapidly. So this broadband map um, is as of June thirtieth, um, and particularly for T-Mobile and Verizon, those um, those the, the, those coverage areas will already have expanded. So let's have a look at the remaining players, and they're all satellite options. So uh, Hughes, uh, HughesNet, and uh, Viasat down here at the bottom. Uh, these are long-standing um, geostationary satellite providers with uh, fairly slow speeds, but very widespread coverage, really the whole country. Um, so 50 down and three up or 25 down and three up, that's, that's pretty typical. Um, if you live in a city, you're almost certainly gonna have alternative uh, options, uh, fixed internet through cables or fixed wireless maybe instead, uh, land-based. Those connections are almost certainly gonna be cheaper and faster than a satellite offering. Now, there is one other satellite offering, and that's from SpaceX, that's Starlink, um, and it does offer much faster speeds. Um, but again, uh, really, these are satellite tends to be, you know, provider of last resort. So having used this map to identify what the main providers are, 
um, at my address or in the in the vicinity in the neighborhood um, i'm going to go to the provider detail map instead because what i really am interested uh, now to see is um, you know who offers uh, uh, fiber uh, and where is that um, so i know that the two main providers in town we've established our uh, CenturyLink, uh, the phone company, and Cox, the cable company. But I want to limit them both to fiber. Um, and yes, by the way, Cox does provide um, fiber in some parts of the town. Basically, if there's any new construction, um, any new neighborhoods being built, um, they just put in fiber uh, by default. So having zoomed in, um, we see that apparently there's amazing coverage all over town. But when you hover over the, the hexagons, um, again, like the, the percentage coverage is very low. So let's change this to say, in each cell, we want say 20% uh, minimum coverage. And let's also, let's change the upload speed because um, anything faster than about 50 is for sure going to be uh, fiber. And then we get really, I think what is a much truer picture of fiber coverage. So in order to actually get into street level, you have to switch back from the provider detail to the location summary tab. And now we can zoom in and then eventually it replaces uh, the hexagons with the individual properties. And you can see here um, that kind of like I said, um, entire uh, neighborhoods um, have fiber available um, and entire neighborhoods don't, that's fairly typical, right? These will be older communities, the green ones will be uh, newer communities. But that said, there's still some oddities here where apparently there's a few houses that don't get fiber. Um, that may just be that the data is wrong. So. Don't take this uh, uh, as 100% correct. It may not be. If your neighbor can get fiber and you can't, you definitely want to contact the operator um, directly and see uh, see if that's really the case. Well, I'd mentioned earlier that there's a couple of new providers um, rolling out across the country, and that's um, Verizon and T-Mobile, both uh, building out and spending billions um, on their fixed wireless uh, networks using uh, 5G, uh, but specifically for home internet. So uh, let's take a look and see what their, their coverage is like. And you can see that uh, much of the country has turned purple, um, you know, much greater coverage compared to Verizon, but that's, uh, that's probably fairly accurate. Um, Verizon had a later start, but they're, they're definitely catching up. Um, but I do wonder if this um, coverage map um, from T-Mobile is perhaps a little overstated. Let's change it to 20% coverage threshold. Yeah, and you can see it gets a lot, uh, a lot smaller. All right, let's, um, let's zoom into Las Vegas and see what it looks like here. And you can see that apparently uh, almost none of no places in the city have have access, which uh, I don't think is right. Um, so let's let's take that coverage threshold um, away again uh, and see what we see what we have. Okay, that's probably more reasonable. Um, again, once we zoom in uh, more closely, we we will see that um, these hexa hexagons get smaller, and you know some areas are, are you know barely covered five, six, ten, eleven percent. Um, other other areas may have uh, much much greater uh, coverage, especially if both providers are are available. Uh, there's a, there's an area with 61% coverage, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, you can see it contract when we when we zoom in. But anyway, um, you know this is as of June 30th. Um, definitely for both of these providers, go to their website and you can plug in um, your address there. On the Verizon website, you're looking for uh, their 5G home internet. It's what they call it. Um, and you can click check availability, type in address here, and it'll tell you if it's available. This is the source of truth. So same with T-Mobile, um, go to their website, look for T-Mobile home internet, click in the check availability, fill out your address, and they'll tell you uh, if it's available. I do recommend if, if both of these say that you don't have it right now, uh, keep coming back, uh, check it once a month or so, because things change very rapidly. They're still building things out. There's also some uh, new uh, local wireless internet providers like Starry and uh, WeLink. So those are options as well, uh, depending on, on where you live. But if I go back to the uh, broadband map, um, I know that um, WeLink uh, is the only uh, other provider here. So let's take a look at that. Unfortunately, Starry, we're supposed to be launching here, but uh, they ran out of money. So that is not happening. So let's get rid of uh, Verizon and T-Mobile. And uh, this is quite helpful because now we can see that, um, you know, WeLink is really only offered in, uh, in the sort of southern end of the valley and also um, the sort of north central uh, region. But again, the coverage is as of June 30th, so things could definitely um, change. Same kind of advice, really, you know, go to their website and, uh, you know, uh, they don't have like a, a checker on here. You just have to fill out a form um, with your address and then they'll get in touch if, if you're actually covered. 
Well, I hope you found this rundown of the uh, FCC's national broadband map useful. Remember to check your actual address and do challenge the data if it's wrong. Um, and also check out my uh, YouTube channel. I've got um, a bunch of uh, videos, smart home technology and so on. But uh, recently, um, there's uh, three different videos um, featuring uh, my experiences with Verizon's 5G home internet. Um, so, uh, you know, check those out. Um, I go into detail about what it's been like for the first three months. Um, and uh, overall, it's been a great experience. So uh, do check out my channel. And thanks again for watching.